Welcome to another episode of Reflections of a CEO. In today's episode, I'm going to be covering the three big systems that your agency has and what happens when they go uh, into an imbalance and things start breaking and what you should do about that. That's what I'm covering today. I hope you all enjoy it. Okay, so I've been talking to a lot of agency owners recently and various problems uh, have come up such as I have too many clients and my, uh, my delivery uh, system isn't as good or um, uh, I don't have enough uh, clients uh, but I, I want to spend a bunch of time uh, I need to build, spend a bunch of time on my product uh, and service and refining that and that, that's what will get me clients or um, you know just different various issues I don't have them all listed in front of me uh, I really should have documented all of them so I could share them with you but it's it's really if I took a step back the, the issues that people are expressing to me are, are things are breaking as the company is uh, evolving and growing Right, and so I've, I've been through this personally, uh, you know, in the history of, of Jack, which is the agency I've, I've been running for the last seven years, uh, there's been, as you grow, stuff starts to break. And, and the first thing to realize is, uh, that's actually totally normal, and it's okay, and it's fine, uh, right? Because then you've reached this new level of growth, and, and it just means that, hey, you need to iterate and, and evolve. Right, uh, it means you've reached the breaking point on the the system that worked before, and now you need to change it uh, and, and grow. Right, uh, people often equate uh, things breaking um, to it being bad, but I actually look at it like like it's a good thing. It says, okay, I reached, I I've now learned where the threshold is, and to get to the next level, I need to adjust things. Right, uh, so it's actually a good thing. Um, so uh, one thing though uh, that I've been recently using to explain to people to help them wrap their head around uh, this is uh, taking a step back and when you look at a agency uh, and, and this can kind of apply to all businesses but let's, let's just take a look at agencies because that's what, what I know really well. There's kind of three main uh, buckets um, or, or systems that, that uh, go into an agency. There's the new business uh, system, there's the production system, and then there's the back office system. Okay, so the new business system is, is responsible for new sales and, and marketing, etc. The production system is, is uh, responsible for, for fulfilling uh, those uh, sales uh, that are brought in. Then you have the back office system, which is all the operations, HR, etc. that supports uh, you know, the other two. Right, and so what happens if you look at it, right, there's three, three, three balls. Uh, imagine they're all, um, you know, horizontal and, and, and even with each other. What happens as your business grows is that these balls start moving up or down vertically, um, right? And so when that happens, they start getting imbalanced. Right? What you want to keep is that all three balls, if they're horizontal, imagine they're, they're next to each other. If you're joining by audio, imagine they're all uh, right next to each other. Right? Like they're sitting on a plane, a very flat surface. Right? But when, what happens over time is that, for example, the sales ball will start increasing. Right? Imagine you have the y-axis and, and uh, you know, it increases because you have more sales that are coming in. However, your production ball uh, stays in that same place, right? So what does this mean? It means that your, your sales ball is growing, right, faster than your production uh, system is growing. So naturally, there's an imbalance, right? Uh, because you want to keep them all in balance. But what happens as you grow is, wow, you've sold too much, or it's only too much because your production system hasn't evolved too, right? Uh, just to put a more concrete example, when you were servicing three customers, you were fine, but all of a sudden then you had 10 customers and you weren't. Why? It's because your production, production system has not grown in scale with uh, the, the sales growth that you've had, right? So what has to happen is that you need to evolve your production system, right? And so you constantly want to be thinking about 
uh, these three systems and these three balls and making sure they're all parallel with each other as you grow. Uh, because if there is a discrepancy, that can be okay, but if there's a massive discrepancy, that's where things start breaking, right? So as your, you know, your sales increase, your production capability needs to increase, and so does your back office systems and organizations need to increase, right? This might mean adding people, it might mean adding systems, right? Um, but you have to constantly be thinking about this uh, and those three systems or else things will break, right? It sounds very simple um, and sounds, uh, you know, it may sound when I'm saying it, oh, that sounds obvious. Uh, however, it took me a long time to figure that out. So um, if you're not, uh, you know, if you didn't see this as, as obvious before, um, don't worry about it because uh, it's not it's not easy to see when you're just starting out and you're, you're building your business but uh, with a bit of experience you you can kind of look at the overall picture and you see okay those are the, actually the three systems and just through my experience from years of doing this I realized that if any of those systems are imbalanced uh, that's where things start to break right so if you are um, you know whether it's hey, I have too many customers, or um, hey, my, my delivery quality is not, not great, or um, wow, it's taking us uh, uh, weeks to get out contracts, or, or whatever it is, just look in your, uh, whatever problems you're, you're kind of having, or things that aren't um, you know, ideal, or how you would like them, look at it, and it's probably bucketed you know, into one of those systems, and it's probably that uh, over time, it has not evolved or you have not developed it or designed it uh, to where it needs to be to work today, right? So don't get upset about it. It's not a bad thing. It's like, hey, look, you just need to now improve it. When things are breaking, it's a sign that something needs to improve and something is in imbalance, right? So just recognize that and start adjusting it. So uh, that's the real lesson I wanted to share, the, the little analogy that I like to use, right? These three balls that uh, imagine they're all flat together, uh, but once one goes up, you know, faster than the others and the other ones don't evolve, it means, hey, you need to work on that other thing, right? And at different points in time, it will be different, different things that you need to work on. I remember a couple years ago, our back office, you know, that third system was not evolving fast enough. We had great growth on the sales side, great growth on the production side, but on the back office, we hadn't developed that. So that started becoming uh, a hindrance and, and uh, something that was leading to overall the, the, uh, the business machine, uh, the company not working as well. So what did we do? We invested a lot of time and, and money and people into uh, solving that. And then things were really good, right? We got our financial and accounting systems really down pat. We got our HR systems uh, and process really down pat. We, we did all those things because we knew if we didn't get those right, uh, if we kept adding on new customers and new business, um, you, you know, uh, we could do it, but it wouldn't be uh, as smooth or, or as good or as profitable as if we had the back office system really in order. So uh, that's just an example. At different times, you know, you'll need to work on different things. And just because you, uh, you know, balance it you know, at one, at one point in time, it doesn't mean it's gonna stay like that. Naturally, businesses are growing, and, and so you're going to have, um, you know, you're going to have uh, different, different imbalances at different times. So uh, just because you solve it once doesn't mean it's solved forever. Uh, you wanna try and look ahead, right? And here's the tricky part. You wanna look ahead and say, hey, where could an imbalance occur? And try to address that ahead of the fact However, you don't want to build too far in the future because you need to account for the present. So for, you know, for example, um, the, the balance and systems you build that work from you know, day one until 250,000 are one thing. And then maybe from 250,000 to 1 million, the, the balance you've had works really great. But then at 1 million, all of a sudden in, in revenue, uh, things start breaking. So you need to create a new uh, balance. And maybe that gets you to, two million or three million or whatever it is, and then you need to reinvent yourself again, right? And then, and then onto the next stage. So for everyone, it's, it's different points for everyone because it depends on your business. Um, so it's hard to put, you know, pure rule of thumbs, but it, you know, in, in the past, what I've seen is basically like the million dollar mark, things change, the $3 million mark, things change. Some people it's half a million dollar mark, right? But there's different marks that then naturally things have to evolve, right? Um, so, so that's, uh, that's something you're gonna want, want to watch out for. 
um, as the person running running the business, and you know then um, you know I think I'm I think I'm going to separate this into a, I'm going to record kind of a part two right now, which is saying um, hey you realize things are are imbalanced, things are starting to uh, uh, to break. What do I do? What is my action as as the CEO? And how should I act? And uh, I'm going to cover that in in the next podcast. We'll we'll do a kind of like a two part series right now. So um, this is kind of the intro. Um, I hope that all uh, hope that all made sense. Uh, and then uh, if you are a CEO and you're going through uh, kind of some of these things, or you're realizing, uh, hey, some things are breaking. Um, what should I do next? Or, or where should I spend my time? Um, that's what I'm going to cover in the next episode. So uh, look, look out for that uh, next episode. Um, it might already be up right now. Um, and uh, I will dive into that topic. All right, thank you uh, for joining me and uh, hope to see you in, in part two uh, right now. All right, bye.